morning guys so um i'm getting around um to go into town i've got to do laundry and um i'm gonna go get the dogs a dog bed because i'm tired of them sleeping in my bed so i um i thought i would just kind of show you guys like my morning routine kind of like i've been up since like five this morning so kind of missed that part um but I thought I could show you how I like set up how I take like a shower and stuff like that. Um, I need to wash my hair like oh. ever since we moved off grid, my hair has been and I don't know if it's like the the thyroid problem or if it's like the water or like the dryness. I have no clue. But ever since we've moved off grid, my hair is like ungodly dry and nasty. Like I mean it doesn't look nasty, it just looks like bedhead, right? Like it's just super dry, and I only wash my hair once a week for the purpose of not drying my hair out. Um, it's way better than washing your hair every day, or even like every other day is okay. But I do like once a week. I have long hair, a lot of hair, so I do once a week, right? Um, and it's still dry, so I'll probably do that tonight. Probably wash it tonight because that's a lot to do it in the morning, like with everything going on. So anyways... And this, this video is going to be kind of behind uh, because yesterday, usually I film the day before. Well, yesterday was kind of crazy. It was like a work day um, and we got wood and we got gypped. Um, so the guy told us he would deliver it for two forty, dollars like four ricks of wood. Um, they got here and it was not four ricks. It was way less than what it should have been. And then my husband, oh, I was so irritated with him. He's really bad for like misplacing stuff really bad for misplacing stuff. Just like he's all over the place Like he irritates the hell out of me um, And he's like giving the guy the money and he I don't think he counted it very good anyways And he's like here. Oh crap. It's only 200 and the guy's like just standing there and instead of recounting it so I'm running all over the place trying to find this $40 that Paul misplaced I'm super hot-headed I'm like are you freaking serious come to find out that um we gave him 240 and he wasn't gonna say anything about it because Paul was gonna drive down well Paul drove down the mountain to meet him at the gas station to pull out another 40 since we couldn't find it and his wife walked in and so Paul went to hand her the 40. She's like, oh no, you already gave us 240. And Paul's like, well, your husband said it was only 200 that I gave him. She's like, no, you gave us 240. So Paul gave her the other 40 anyways to like cover his ass just so like nobody can say that we gypped him. So the guy ripped us off, 40 bucks, whatever. So we won't be using them again. Um, that's kind of the bad thing with like trying to buy wood is get somebody that will actually give you the amount that's correct and give you good wood. Um, the wood was super soaking wet, like it was soaked. Um, but he cut it to like the size we wanted so we can't complain there because we asked to have it cut like to 12 inches to fit in like our wood stove. So we did that, but it was it just wasn't worth $200. So we did that and then Paul decided he wanted to go fishing down at the lake. Um, that was awful, bad decision, because it really wasn't, it was kind of cold, like chilly, but it wasn't bad, and then we started going on the four-wheeler, and we went with our neighbors, and um, they have a side-by-side, -side, so we sent our daughter with them in the side-by-side, -side, and we had little feller on the four-wheeler with us, and it was so cold, and we got there, we were there for like 20 minutes, we're like, this isn't worth it, and then it's even worse coming back, really cold coming back, um, and then we ran into somebody walking, like these people walk in because they got stuck up on the mountain. Uh, they drove a Mini Cooper up here on the mountain. Like who does that? You could not drive a Mini Cooper up here on the mountain. Um, so we drove back home and then Paul went and took his truck to try to pull them out because they were stuck with their Mini Cooper. And then the lady's dad had came with his truck without four, four wheel drive to try to pull them out. Uh, so they were both stuck. So Paul and the neighbor went to pull them out. So it was just really like, stupid crazy so here i am this morning gotta get around and we're preparing for christmas christmas in the cabin we got two days until christmas so we gotta get this stuff done okay and nothing me okay don't don't pay attention to this this is freaking messy back here i cleaned two days in a row right i mean this isn't god off i just gotta put shit away but anyways so in the sun oh let me show you the sunset it is so pretty like look at that it looks like snow but it's the clouds like, I'll have, you know, I'll show you guys a video. Oh, 
Okay, so how I heat my water up for the shower is I put this little, it's like two gallon pot on top and I'll heat it up. It's fairly hot. I like to get it really hot because then I can add cold water into my jug and, you know, use this for multiple showers and not just mine, right? Because I use a two, ga two gallons for my shower. So I heat that up. I've got this two gallon, two and a half gallon jug, right? It's like for water or juices or whatever. So we use this, I fill it up, and then I stick it in the shower, which I will show you. Okay, so I'll put a spout in there. And, woohoo, that's hot. Fill it up this way. And I'll probably have to add some cold water because this water is pretty hot. So I'll probably do like half to three quarters of it, the hot water, because I like my water pretty hot. And then I'll fill the rest with the cold water. water and I pour that in there. Top it off. If it's not exactly two gallons, whatever, but we, when we first were doing showers, we were only using a gallon, and uh, that was just barely rinsing the soap off of us. So we upgraded to two gallons a shower, which is nice, and like when I wash my hair, I like to use three to four gallons because I thought maybe my hair was getting dried out because I wasn't rinsing all the soap out, but... I think it's the water and like the dryness here. So I, I usually use like three gallons when I wash my hair. I'll use two and a half gallons on my hair. And then as I'm rinsing like the soap out, I'll just rinse my body off real fast. Um, and it's really not bad. And I found out my Paul takes his showers this way in the summer. Um, he has a his paint of black because he sets it outside to heat up all day. And he just sets it up in his shower. Like my grandpa... Um, which is my papa. He is like a really conservative, like money wise person. Like as far as back as I can remember, like he's always done stuff to like save money. So I just thought that was funny that he does like does the same thing as a shower. So it's not bad. It's not bad. You just don't get your nice, long, relaxing shower. You got to get in, do what you got to do and get out. Okay. So this is our shower now. <laughs> so we took the plastic that we bought to put up on the ceiling and we made like a shower curtain with it. Um, Paul made like a top frame with some two by fours to kind of like hang it right and you open it up and in there um, Paul has made like some kind of ledge that we set our jug on and we've got down here um, can't, we've got a tote um, so we stand in the tote we're in here right we turn the spout on you get wet I would show you guys, like I would I'd put a bathing suit on and show you guys, but I don't have a camera stand right now, so there's no way I could like show you guys. Um, so you stand in here, you get wet really fast, you turn the spout off, um, you soap up, and then you rinse. And a lot of times I rinse in enough time that I can just stand there in the hot water for another 30 seconds, right? Um, it's not bad. You just like, basically showers are just to get clean, so it's not, a luxury like what it was in town and it's not bad and I figured out like the perfect amount of time to like hurry up and rinse everything and be clean and my daughter doesn't really care for it like she don't mind my son does not like the shower he just does not like it um his water has to be like perfect for him to even like remotely enjoy this so it's kind of like it's kind of a process with him so but we all, we all get it done, and so this is my makeshift shower. Uh, we will be building our, our bathroom probably this spring. Um, Paul's work is just picking back up, so we'll eventually start having some extra money to put towards, like, building everything. So we were going to build the kids' rooms this weekend, but uh, my dog's getting really heavy. So we will be building a, a makeshift deck, a temporary deck. Uh... So his lard ass can get up the stairs because he is, he's about 50, 55 pounds, but he's solid, so. Nothing is more annoying than when you get going and I'm halfway down the mountain. Well, I wasn't exactly halfway down the mountain, but I was, I was going and I realized I forgot my laundry soap. So at this point, I'm just like, I'm just going to go buy new laundry soap because it's not worth the headache of trying to turn around and go back and get it so here I go we're just gonna buy some new laundry soap <sighs> so it just never goes as as planned I think I'm getting along perfect get everything in the car I forget something but I got my kids I didn't forget the kids that's a, that's what counts right get 
one for mom, one for dad, because they're $7.99 for Christmas. Okay. I am braving tractor supply to get a dog bed. Come on. And bones. And the chew bones. These kids are driving me nuts already. They're not listening. But we're doing it. We're doing the thing. And they bought me a Christmas present. Okay, so the last time I bought Thor a bone, he really liked these. So I'm going to get him another one of these. That was his favorite. Like this over the pig ear, he liked this one. Tractor Supply is having a big sale. That's why it's so packed here. You better get, run. <gasps> oh, it's so cute. Uh oh, I'm gonna get in trouble here. Oh my God. I need it, I need it. Is it a decoration? Put that back. Ah! Put it back. Ah. Dog toys are 50% off. Hmm. The country girl in me says enamel dog food bowls. But the hillbilly in me says camo. about what it takes to get everything done. Um, laundry, miscellaneous stuff, usually I fill up gas cans and water. I didn't need that today. Um, and man, we scored at Tractor Supply. Uh, like I mentioned, right now they're having like a 30, 30 to 50% off on a lot of their like home decor, Christmas stuff, stuff like that. Super cute. And I cannot wait to show you as soon as I'm home and not driving, I will show you what I got. Um, we all got a little something, you know, our own little gifts, right, to ourselves. Yeah, so it's really cute. It is really cute. It was a good find. So, yes. um, and mommy loves it. yeah, I do love it. And it's really cute. So, heading back home to make lunch and clean the cabin. And today is the. Well, today and tomorrow, the absolute worst days to go into town. Absolute worst days. Everybody's down there, last minute shopping, last minute getting stuff for dinner. It's freaking madness. And then at the laundromat, everybody's down there doing laundry. That's terrible. It's terrible. It is. It's got off. Okay, home, ate a sandwich because I deserve that sandwich. My kids were god awful. God awful. I hate taking them anywhere. I hate taking them. Okay, so, anyways, so. Um, I have this fetish, let's say, with cups. Like, I freaking love cups. And I got rid of, like, every single one of my cups when we moved. Besides, like, my custom tumblers that, you know, someone made me. Um, and a couple coffee cups. So, when we were strolling along through Tractor Supply, and, of course, they have a bunch of stuff marked down, I was, I was like, oh, you know, I see coffee cups, but not any I like. Well, then my daughter found... Which is perfect. This, let me just tell you, Paul all the time complains that these kids need a cup to drink out of because they spill stuff all the time. So he cannot complain when I show him what I bought today. So I found these tumblers. But they freaking have animals on them. Look how cute. I could not pass this up, okay? So this is the first one. It's freaking cute. It was... What was it? Six bucks. It was six dollars. So stinking cute. Let me show you the next one. This one has llamas on it or alpaca. I'm gonna go with a llama because they're basically the same thing. Llama. Really cute. And it's a tumbler. It's got the top. You can open and close it. So he can't complain that the kids don't have cups. Don't use their cups because this is what they're using from now on. And then last week my son broke one of my coffee cups. <sighs> A little devastated because I don't have many coffee cups and I freaking love cups, especially coffee cups, right? So my daughter found this cup for me and I freaking love it. Isn't it cute? It's a freaking pig eating a pie. And on the inside it says pace yourself. Isn't it cute? So I will be, this will be my new cup. I wish it was bigger because I like a cup that holds a lot of coffee. Like if I could find a really big coffee cup, I don't even know how many ounces this is, but I know it's just not enough. But it's cute and it's got a little, and it was so suiting because I'm going to have all this stuff on my homestead. Whether Paul likes it or not, I'm going to have it. So 
Cheers! All right, y'all, that's all I have for today. Um, I gotta prepare for Paul to come home because we're building a deck because Thor is a fat ass and I uh, can't pick him up no more. So hoping to do a video on that. And um, I will not be posting Wednesday because Wednesday is Christmas. So I will be posting Friday. Um, so look out for that and y'all have a Merry Christmas. And I hope everybody gets the gifts they wanted and I hope Santa brings you what you wanted. Okay, so uh, anyways, I will see you guys Friday and Merry Christmas.